I can live. You sure can. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to White Girl Wednesday. Are we live? <laughs> you better fucking believe we're live, baby. Oh, damn. Do you know that this game Ew. contains scenes? Holy shit, it does. Jumping right into it. Mm -hmm. you know, what other games do you have planned for White Girl Wednesday? I mean, we're just calling this White Girl Wednesday because it happens to feature a white girl as the central protagonist. Oh no! Why the fuck did it do that? <laughs> oh, so, I don't know. Do I can't do what? I can't see. What other uh, games feature a white woman as the protagonist? Uh, I pressed the start button on my PS5 controller, and I guess it didn't like that, so I'm switching over to my Xbox controller. Oh, would you count Bloodstain as a game that features a white woman as a protagonist? I suppose, yeah. She is a she's so a is... she is a vampire. Well, the medium she... also has a white girl in it, but I don't think you'd want to play the medium on your channel. Mm -hmm. no. Sounds kind of, pretty mid. Kind of think of it, Vampire would actually be a good game to throw into the mid cat box because I've I've heard that's a very solid seven out of ten action game. Vampire Se the... seven out of ten is a fucking mid. Yeah, at least that's like, how is that mid? Oh, that's that's how, like that like the American grading curve has completely oh, annihilated people's people's perceptions of grades. Not not me. I seven out of ten. That's oh. a fucking almost B. Mm. How about that's noteworthy? How about your automata to be a white woman? She is an android. Is a, I mean, like she is a white woman though. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Oh. Fuck, my dog bored and I can smell its crunk. GM icon. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is just a dog fart. Come on. Man, you don't right. smell. Right. We were in the library for the library puzzle. Libraries, uh, huh, Orange? I definitely remember what I was doing here. Yeah, I'm looking. I think, I think the game's trying to tell you something. Why is Minecraft? Oh, I have an idea for a white woman Wednesday. Uh, Rule of Rose. <laughs> Well, Rule of Rose is up on the docket at some point too. But I think yeah. since since we have some some uh, some runway for it, I'll probably be doing the new Fatal Frame after this game, or but rather that's the not new, a white woman. Or rather the new old Fatal Frame. But that's not a white woman. No, but it's a Suda adventure because Suda worked on that one. Or oh shit! Really? It yeah. seems there's also a crate with books in it you mean this crate with books right here that happens to have a oh book there you directly go. underneath it Yoink. yeah you found it good idea a cult you know, I philosophy find a, i find it really good funny thinking. that you find it really funny that you that you start right in a library after what we were talking about last night mm -hmm. i don't care what she looks like hello, i would rather voice gerbera hello b hello b Hello. We were we were hello. discussing hello. we were discussing the uh, hello B we were discussing uh potential hello, Mario. potential voice uh, cast if we have when we do uh, the Project Moon games if slash when uh, Project Moon games if slash never but Tsukihime? no yeah. uh, Project Moon is Lobotomy Corporation and Library of Ruina which are uh um. Management games? Way, way PC? too fucking long to be playing on stream. So why don't we just game. do like uh P5? I mean that's really yeah. cool. Let's <laughs> just do <laughs> Don't worry, B, I gave you the girl boss characters. Let's just do P5. Still kind of... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, do her boobs jiggle? Yes. Yeah. Of course they do. Oh, oh, God no. damn it. Sorry to ask, but Constantly even. Really... Sorry to ask, but Do does that? Atlas still have that embargo on people trying to play the full game? No, it, uh, it hasn't. Persona Five been out for forty it's days, and forty nights, and forty shut years. Up. Oh, shut up! I'm pretty up. sure. That... Huh? I'm pretty sure Sorry. you can play it on on stream now. At least I fucking if, hope you can. If you can't play Persona Five on stream by now, that's just a damn shame, bro. Ain't no fucking mm -hmm. secrets. I've literally watched multiple people stream Persona 5, it's fine. Yeah. Through to completion, then yeah, it would be fine. Yeah, to completion, yes. Also, okay. I can assure you all that my copy of Persona 5 on PC that I haven't started yet is completely and utterly unchanged and not modified at all whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I definitely didn't install the mod immediately that makes it so Becky has the good hair on. Oh my god. 
Look, what What's I say? the good the, hair? The scruffy hair. You know, like, instead of, like, the, like, the fucking twin tails that make it look, look, look like a doll. Like, I think... Oh, you mean the, her regular yeah, hair? Yeah, like, her teacher haircut looks way better than the fucking twin tails. I wouldn't call it a haircut. More like just a hair. Mm-hmm. Oh! Oh, I actually also, forgot that she goes by Becky as a- okay. Oh yeah, that's it's right. Been a while. Mo it's modderism, been a while. shouting out into the void, I'm begging you, please, someone mod on so that she has the long hair model from the fucking dancing game. It's so good. Please. Lady aren't the Aren't the dancing models higher res than the gameplay models of 5, mm -hmm. like the overworld models? Of I mean, yeah, what is it? Like, people are, people have modded a P3 Portable uh, so that it actually has, like, the dancing mod, the dancing models instead. Oh, nice. I'd like to see that, actually. Mm -hmm. I think you know what I sure love to it's... see? What? The P3 reboot with the dancing all night models. Just God, kind of... I, I wish, I wish they would fucking do that, please. At least use the dancing models for, for in battle. Alright, film reel. Let's see what's on this. Uh, if it wasn't I would be good. This film is too real. Hey, Debilitus, what's poppin'? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Please, Robot, if you're gonna game, mute. Oh, I was just typing something. Okay. Yeah, ye medieval security camps. Huh. I thought this was like. Oh, is it oh. Ramadan already? Mm -hmm. What? Is it Ramadan? Alright, write that down, write that down, write that down! <laughs> oh, that is the sun down? What the fuck did that say? Half circle, full circle, three, three, four. Oh, I took a screen cap. Don't worry. She looks like Jill. Yeah, she looks like blonde Jill from uh, Five. <laughs> like, I mean, her face model. There she is. It's your girl. It's your girl, the maid. This isn't Giselle. Although her boobs is just are just as pointy, to be honest. I really love the white outline. I think the only thing that's pointy are her uh, drill twin, or her the twin drills on her head. Oh shit! <laughs> this shit's so silly. Bro. Why does everybody have like a weird glowy outline around them? Because emulation is a flawless system. What do you want? What do you want? You. She wants your womb, man. What? The almighty uterus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, what? Metreon Synthos? As a soul. You be a demon soul. Woman. Woman. <laughs> oh god, she's going Jacob's ladder on us. I don't know what that means. It's your fucking nightmare. <laughs> Yo, this the she wants. She wants. You know, for some reason, I thought something was gonna explode out of her, but then I remembered this isn't Resident Evil. The uh, no, but this was more. Honestly, it should have been the fucking puppy. Mad. Puppy kill, kill, puppy kill, kill. Run, sucker! Ow. Do not trip on the stairs. That seems like it'd be incredibly painful. All right, she's chill now. Do you think they recycled what's her what's this girl's name? Eels. I don't think that they recycled Jill's design. No, no, I mean I recycled. They recycled her design for Jill in RE5. I would say that it might they recycled her into a Jill sandwich. I'd certainly say it's more of an inspiration than anything else. Okay, because uh, their face models look similar. They, 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 these models are definitely different eras. Additionally, they are you just white want to go women. Back back at all. I, fuck, where the hell was the goddamn mechanism for that shit? Because I don't think it was in there. I got something else while I was in there. Let me just fucking head back, I guess. Come on. Where are you heading for? Uh, well, I got the. I, I know the code now for that strange uh, mechanism. Uh, so now I need to go activate it. So I right. we... Yeah, what's oh, poppin' meth? What would be your ideal 
Oh no, keep going. I'm just I'm making sure that I keep that screen cap. Your ideal survival horror game. Um. Hmm. This is going to sound a bit odd, but like I think the Evil Within was the closest to like the thing that I like the, the platonic ideal thing that I like really like out of a survival horror game because it's got like what? Got, yeah, no, like it's got like it's got like a weird, it's got a really like odd, strange, like mind-bending story that honestly, like I think people don't give the first Evil Within enough credit because the story, while it necessarily it isn't necessarily as like concrete and easy to understand as the as the second one it's a lot more interesting in the way that it's handled and presented to you it's not as um it's very out of order and strange and i kind of like that about it but more than that um like you have like some pretty you have like pretty solid third person shooter combat you have some like cool areas weird designs that's that very distinct like in your head like type of uh, like appearance where like ge like the ge head. like geography is weird and you can like do whatever the fuck and like it's just you can do some like insane shit that doesn't quite make as much sense as it probably should. Um, I like I love I love 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 the idea of the um the like throwing a match down on an enemy to kill them immediately. Um, like like in the Ari remake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, well, no, um, Ari, Ari Remake doesn't have that, but it has the Crimson Heads. Oh, yeah. But, um, if I were to what point... To, if I were to point to a game that did something like that, like, insanely well, like, Signalis is, like, a fucking home run in that regard, because, like, it has everything that I'd want out of, uh, like, a third-person a third person survival horror game like that. It's just all in, like, it's, like, on a top-down perspective. It's a little bit shorter, and it's not quite, like, exactly what I'd like. It's very close. <laughs> Also, I like the sound design of the Evil Within a lot. It has a lot of, like, oomph behind a lot of the attacks and, like, the weapons. It feels Holy good. Shit, swings. It feels good to listen to and play. And, like, the chunky, like, sound effect that it makes. So, like, whenever you, like, do, like, a really, like, powerful melee attack. That shit hits every fucking time. It's so good. I forgot, did we do a playthrough of the Evil Within? We played through a bunch of it, but I ended up, like, stopping midway through. Because I don't, I think we would think something else happened that we wanted to do instead. Is it? Yep. Is the Evil Within available? It's... Yeah, you can play the original. Yes, it is. I think so. Oh, it's six bucks. I, I've actually got a copy on the PS3 from when my friend and I tried to play it. We actually had to op. We actually had to cop out of it because we got stuck after a while. Mm -hmm. I yeah, mean, no. I'm glad you actually got a good experience out of Evil Within. I, on the other hand, did not get a very good experience. Remus, stop trying to bite your nails, oh, man. Yeah, People I can imagine... on I imagine the PS3 version of that fucking game just, just god awful. <laughs> like most PS3 ports of the of, of games weren't necessarily great because the PS3 has uh, what I would describe as archaic and uh, macabre architecture. That there was in there were indeed some extraneous graphics bugs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing that why. impeded gameplay. Nothing that impeded the gameplay. Nothing that impeded the gameplay. But it did impede the visuals. Yeah. For a lot of reasons. But, like, well, how I would describe it is that, like, Evil Within is, like, the platonic ideal of what I would like out of a survival horror game. Because it's got a lot of really cool shit going for it. It's just that it isn't quite executed on, like, just right. Like, it's almost there. That's kind of what got me. The mm. ideas and everything were already laid out perfectly fine, and I thought mm. it was really cool. But whenever I was trying to think about it and go back over it, I was thinking, where's the connection? Mm -hmm. And I realized there just wasn't a connection. The story is saw very... Of, mm -hmm. the, the saw blade Not. of doom. They had the water puzzle in the thing. They had the giant forest. They had this weird overhaven room. Mm -hmm. That was also part mental asylum with this uh, one shit. I'm super lost and will now pay for my crimes of being lost. Run. Also, Sebastian's a funny little guy. I, I, I like, sub, like, honest to God, I think, like, uh, Sebastian should have been one of the first indicators that I was by, because, like, that man is, like, a fla that man's, like, a flavorless delicacy. He has, like, he's no a hell of a butler. Flavorless delicacy? He's got, like, nothing going for him in, like, the character department, but he's, like, he's, like, quintessential gruff detective, man. Like, mmm, mmm, I could eat his fucking Pretty ass. Pretty good, into. Goddamn, yeah. 
Yeah, I like this voice actor a lot in the first. How about I, Joseph? Uh, Joseph is nice too. I like him. He's very he, he's he's twinkish in nature. I appreciate him. Also, he's worked by Yuri Lowenthal, which Joseph. is very good. Also, so he's I was right. It's Yuri. Favorite. Uh. I think some of some bits about him are a bit goofy, like, oh man, there's this creature out there in that foyer, but my glasses! I can't see without my glasses! My glasses! Mm -hmm. My glasses! Like, that part was a bit iffy. Um, Kidman, I also like Kidman a lot, too. I think she's cool. I appreciate, like, there's a very specific, like, cadence that, like, that Sebastian's original actor has that I, that, that means I like, like, I like him a little bit more than the second one. And I'm like, I'm not gonna say that like the second one did a bad job. I think he did a good job for what he was given. I like his yelling. He's got good. He's got a good yelly voice. It's nice. But like the way, like just like that. What the fuck? Like he sounds like he sounds just sounds like a very generic gruff detective. And I and I appreciate that about him in the first yeah. one. Man, it's so crazy how Tango Gameworks went from that to Hi-Fi Rush. Mm hmm. Well, that and also Shinji Mikami's like fucking gone. Which, mm -hmm. is, which is a bit unfortunate. Shinji Mikami's gone, and something that I'm actually quite unfortunate about is that, like, the person who was a, a responsible for a lot of, like, the foundational, like, I believe, uh, design work. Uh, funny, it, funny, it's spooky woman. I forget her name. I'm Ikumi just, Nakamura? Ikumi Nakamura, yes. I'm, I'm t terribly sorry that I forgot her name. Fantastic, uh, fantastic designer. She does, like, a she does amazing work. It's, like, just the right, she does just the right kind of, like, grunge I, I can't get enough of her designs. I, I eat that Creepy shit and wet? Mm-hmm. What the fuck is that? It's just a dude. It's fine. Oh. But also, like, yeah, what is it? Oh, yeah, I'm like, fucking, I love those videos where they're talking about, like, how they got, like, the sound design. For, and, like, how they were, like, smashing, like, watermelons and, like, throwing shit into, like, a kiddie pool and, like, glorping it. Like, that's great. I love that shit. A+. Plus. <laughs> oh, it's kind of like how Mortal Kombat did their sound design. They were, yeah. they're, like, crushing bell peppers in front of a microphone. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that how they got those effective crunches? Yep. Mm -hmm. Among that's other delicious. vegetables. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. I don't like bell peppers. Eh, you just haven't had them with the right kind of onions and the right kind of saute. I, I genuinely right. do wish that they would have given, um, I think, yeah, Shinji Mikami was the director for the first one. I wish they gave him a second shot. I think... Do you think Shinji Mikami would still taste good even if there was bell pepper and onion? True. Honestly. <laughs> but yeah, like, I do kind of wish they'd give him another, like, the, the, he'd, he'd have another shot to, like, kind of, like, learn from what he did wrong in the first Evil Within. And have it be less of, like, a we is the next one, be or, like, the next thing one he does being, like, a, not quite, like, a weird, like, open worldy type bullshit that feels reminiscent of Silent Hill 4 of uh, Resident Evil 4 a little bit yeah well at least he blew it out of the park with Hi-Fi Rush true but that's not a survival horror game Robo. true well it's a survival horror game for the rhythmically impaired mm. ow <laughs> come on John. You, even you would know this like yeah, but I actually have rhythm. Yeah, I know, but mm -hmm. you, you know, you got what I'm saying, though, right? Like honestly, it's a tragedy. About the rhythm. Like, like what is it? Um, what is it? Uh, I want to. I want to call it Tokyo Ghoul. No, it's um. Ghostwire Tokyo. Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I Ghost played. Trick Tokyo. I played through that entire game, and honestly, like that's just that was like just another like super cool concept that they really, really fucked up, and I wish they'd stop doing that. Well, how'd they, they fuck up? It on up? It? Um, so this play. is something. So this is something specific for like the PlayStation Five version. Is that um. It does that thing with like the camera where it's like you can uh, set the horizontal and vertical sensitivity individually. So when oh you boy. like, so when you try to do like, oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. But like, if you like, if you try to like look all the way around, it's like. Wait, wait there's a shiny there. Oh yeah. Here. There was a shiny in the nook in the wall. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Mm -hmm. And he's a good boy. Mm -hmm. Where um, is he? It's like um, I don't fucking know where Huey went, but like yeah. Um, so it does that Beep. thing where it's like, you look up and then it stops for a second and you look to like the left or the right, and like it just, it feels really bad, especially in a game that's all first person combat. So it, would it feel better if it was on, if you were on mouse and keyboard? Probably, yeah. I've been considering getting it on the mouse and keyboard since they're planning a, um, <coughs> like, uh, there's gonna be a, uh, combat overhaul patch coming out in April at some point, so I might, I might grab that, yeah. They're adding Why would things. they 
What exactly are they adding in terms of combat overhaul? Like, I think they're making, they're giving you, like, a dash. I think they're giving you, like, a counter move. They're adding some new traversal items, which is kind of cool, too. Oh, I'm just gonna die, aren't I? Yeah. All right, Was cool. there no dash in the original game of Tokyo, of Ghostwire? A little bit, yeah. Um, it uh, just... run, maybe. Uh, okay. So oh, Lord. Lord. So were your problems with Ghostwire mostly technical stuff, or are there other problems? <sighs> like... Really? Oh, okay. Wow. Shit. Okay, you get wanna... three. You get three wrong steps before it kills you. Oh no. So, oh, yeah. so, but yeah, but there you go. Nice. Anyways. Oh. It's fine. This white woman. This, de white woman destroyed. This game has like weird like pseudo checkpoints at certain points. Anyway, it's fine. Um. Other than that, I just have to, like I just have to fucking run back over. It's fine. You, you did. Acta is funny though. Mm -hmm. um, the act is over. I enjoyed some bits about the open world stuff. I thought it was kind of nifty, but I feel like putting it into an overworld, putting it into an open world, kind of reduced its sense of direction a little bit because, like, the actual um, you know, here I can actually probably like, yeah, here. Uh, I don't even need to go back to the fucking alcove. I can just go back to the library over here. Nine. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say, I still want to go ahead and play the game myself whenever it comes out on Xbox Live. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, like, just... Story is a bit shit for that game, honestly. Oh, here, I have to just redo the bit, the book bits. It's fine. You're really gonna have to book it. Mm -hmm. That bad, huh? Yeah, no, like, I couldn't fucking tell you a damn thing about the story of Ghostwire Tokyo, because, like... It it doesn't help that the English dub was really mid. Like, it was... Well, okay, I'm not, I wouldn't even say it's mid. It was just bad, honestly. <laughs> like, it was it, it was not good. Um, so I had it on Japanese. And, like, honestly, like, I can pay attention to the Japanese just fine. It's just that, like, that story is a little bit nonsensical if you didn't play, the, like, the stupid little, like, prequel visual novel thing. Did you? No, I didn't... No. I don't... I don't really like to. I'd rather not have to consume external media for a ostensibly. Another piece of media? No, like a, like there's a brand a spanking new thing. The game? Yeah, there's a visual level. Because like, what that tells me is is that you didn't necessarily have time to have the sto to to focus on the story and like the main proper title. Hmm. The core premise is perfectly fine. Like, dude, just. Dude has a little has a guy in him that's giving him magical powers and shit and that's nifty and all. And you're going up against some weird mask guy and that's about it. Um, and then some shoehorned in thing about family at the end. Family, family, family. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the story is exceptionally silly. Uh, a bit all over the place. The focus on the open world kind of ha tampers the combat. And it's a bit unfortunate too, because like, you just kind of like sh sh shoehorns you into focusing primarily on like getting cool like traversal items and mechanics and shit. Which I know that's a, that's a weird thing to complain Bitch. about, but it's just like, in the block. wow, what the fuck? Oh my god! Calm blur. Bitch, slap you. Are you gonna got to, take got the chicken jerk? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can. I got. Yeah, I am. I'm not gonna be able to fucking fight back. Are you kidding me? Hey, what if we? What's this girl's name? Uh, uh Fiona. Yeah, well, Fiona's the Fiona's the main girl. What if we swap Fiona and Leon? Call for Huey. Uh, Leon. Uh, Fiona, Fiona would probably die. Leon would round would roundhouse kick this woman and then do a suplex and then she'd probably die. Or panties will drop for him. There's Huey. But, um, it was just, like, a very uneven experience, and it made me more interested for what they would do with it next, rather than whatever is coming afterwards, rather, rather than like, what's currently happening in the game. Like, if they make a Ghostwire 2? Mm-hmm. Like, great, great, A-plus blueprint for a video game. And, um, not, not quite there. C for execution? Mm-hmm. It's such an odd... It's, 
No, sorry, go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, you can keep going. It's just like... I don't know. I can appreciate a good open world game every now and then, but it's so rarely well, like, well executed on. This caramel popcorn is great. Nice. And now I can hear you eating it. What? Yeah. I can hear you yes. eating it. This, you it's are very, devouring very the very loud. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I fucking made a save directly before that place and I completely forgot about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So good. Oh, that's cool. Project Moon has a bunch of uh, side content. Mm. Oh yeah, there's a bunch. Like web comics and web novels. I guess a better question I want to ask now is when is too much supplementary a... material for a video game too much? There's yeah, a Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. Limbus Corporation doesn't make sense unless you visit the cafe. Limbus of course Party. they also say that considering Joshi is also here and Halo has a lot of supplementary material that goes with the no. game. But they don't have a guy. Yeah. So okay, hold on, hold on, I got it. That's well, yeah. That's the that was the issue with Halo three, 5. four, three. Yeah, it had too Halo Five specifically in Halo Four. They do it well with intergraining because they bring up like a uh, uh, rap and see, which is a thing brought up only in books prior. But they introduce the subject pretty well in four, and in five they completely say fuck you, and they have a character uh, in which you don't know shit about unless you read a book as okay. one of the playable characters. The issue with Bungie Halo is that there was all of this cool side content with neat lore that ultimately didn't matter because it wasn't important to the games at all. The also, issue with 343 Halo is that they expect you to have consumed a bunch of side content for their games to make sense. Also, like, straight up, Bungie fucking hated the books and shit. Bungie Some people not Bungie. Give a shit bit about the extended universe. It's it's why there's so many people who are upset at Halo Reach because it retcons so much shit. Oh, he's showing you the right path. Fucking, Good boy, Huey. Fucking Fall of Reach didn't even make sense when it came out. Mm -hmm. Give the there's boy path. Give the good boy the path. About how the master there's something chief on the back never, of your armor, guy. About how fighting at Reach was the first oh, wait, time no, chief encountered an elite, which is insane. It's it makes zero yeah. sense. It's insane. Well, at some point with Halo, I'd expect you'd want to go ahead and just learn more about the lore and the world involving Halo. So at that point, you would want to read the novels. I'm talking about whenever games have supplementary material that you don't think you'd want to read the material. Uh, How many like Dragon the Halo? World and visual novels do you think there are? I like exactly. more manga. I like the um what is it? I like the the anime anthology. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm pretty sure a lot of them are non canon. What do you mean? Spartan 1337 is 100% real. It's so funny cuz that that number of Spartan can't fucking exist. It's fine. They, they made it especially for him. <laughs> he, he's from a special team. I love that. Never the, heard of them. The the insistency of all the fucking studios that worked on that anthology. It was like Catherine Hol Halsey is a blonde. It is time. I mean, you could even say that Pokemon has supplementary material because there's so much fucking manga that goes with yeah, each of like, those. Games. That, that manga feels like it's its own story. Yeah, no, you like, didn't that's... like the electric tale of Pikachu? Yeah, no, like, that's its own bitch entirely. See, like, supplementary material is problematic when you literally cannot consume the video games unless you've done all of the supplementary material, like, an amount of oh, it. She's... Oh, she's fucking tweaking. Mm -hmm. Like, like you can play through Halos 1, 2, and 3, and even ODST, no problem, without having to fucking, without having to do anything about the books or anything like that. Oh, I mean, like, I mean, like, the, 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 oh, no, I'll explain this after the cutscene. Yeah, fair enough. 
Yeah, so they they have they don't see they seem very averse to telling you what this lady's name is. This is Daniela. Oh. Oh, that's this chick's name. Mm -hmm. Did we know her? She's she's the maid. Who yeah, she's been following her. you around. Big big piece of glass. Who either Where? has really pale lips or is wearing really gray lipstick. That is like or a, she's a zombie. That's like a very distinct, like, purple lip gloss, I think. Or it could be that she's, like, hypothermia or something. Or she's dead. I mean, she seems to talk like she's some kind of homunculus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, she seems to be some sort of created life form. Tell us how you really feel. My precious. Listen, I'm gonna get my dinner. If she's a homunculus, then why is she twerking and tweaking like a robot? Because uh, she, th these are inhuman movements that are designed to terrify you. Mission accomplished. Ah, uh, don't do that, no! Oh god, no, no, yeah, 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 do it, get do stuck. it! stuck. No, oh, I'm why are you crying dare. blood? Why are you crying blood? She's got that Le Chiffre thing going. Mm. Ugh. Oh, goodness uh, gracious. Huey, kill! Good boy, Huey! Thanks for letting me do that. Stop screaming at me. I'm doing puzzles. And this is why Huey is a good boy. Huey! Huey! You're getting in the way of the puzzles! I guess, I guess now would probably be the best time to probably explain yeah, it, but uh, uh, in the Bungie games, they did actually carry over one thing, and I believe they took ODSTs from the books. I mean, yeah, but at the end of the day, like, you can figure out what an ODST is without reading the fucking books. Yeah, what are ODSTs? Or drop, drop Shock Troopers, it's in the name. Mm -hmm. like, you, like, you need, like, five minutes to explain that. And they like, they, they do that in the introduction. And you're like, yeah, we're just drop, we're gonna drop onto the place. We're gonna fuck shit up. Yeah, we're like... We're gonna drop in shock. That's pretty much it. Like, mm -hmm. the explanation. A lot of, like, I feel like... What is it? Uh, uh, Halo lore got fucking really wacky. Uh, uh, really demanding you read that fucking extended lore shit. Mm -hmm. During the 343 era, because 343 was initially or originally comprised of people who really are fans of Halo and went, yeah, we're gonna bring over the things about the books. But uh, the issue with that is that they didn't stop to think, oh wait, maybe we shouldn't just reference it as if people have read the books. See, the ultimate thing that you have to do is incentivize people to want to take a look at your your additional content. Don't make them read the additional content. It's like with fucking FF15. Like, I don't I don't know anything about these characters yet. Oh yeah, right. I don't want yeah, right, to fucking FF15 watch King's Glaive, and I don't want to watch the prequel anime it. that explains why all what all these people are like. You know, it's really fucking funny because, like, they did technically incentivize you to watch the the live action TV show that kind of introduces you to Locke, that was gonna be the main character of Five. But the main reason why it incentivized you is like, hey, if you watch all five, uh, all of it, you get to unlock a special armor set in Halo Five. So everyone watched it. For real? Yeah, you unlocked a special armor set if you watched it on like the Xbox One. That's it's some just, that's just, well, it's just free cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just free cosmetic. That's also some bullshit. I mean, I mean, like, I you can you can like turn I mean, it you on. Don't and have just, to like, watch it. It. like if you if you're going to work the next day, you can have it just on autoplay in the game. They'll be like, oh, nice, right, thank you for watching. Here's your armor. Like, you can sweet. just set them all to red, and then they'll know, well, and then they'll be like, cool. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Yet, but... You can just turn your TV off and then just go to bed. 
Oh god damn it, she fucking it won't just, know it is. She fell over right in front of the puzzle. And walk away. Yeah. It reminds me of in Crow Marty High School, the anime. Uh, uh, the main character, Kamiyama, just pretty much says, Man, I bet you're wondering how I got here in the worst high school in all of Japan. But I'm not going to tell you, so go read the go manga. Go read the manga. They will repeatedly make the joke of, Don't worry about it, just go read the manga. Oh no, the, the ultimate mirror! The thing I have there with a floor actually, mirror. Uh -huh. I'll say this. I'll say my piece after this. Oh, that's that would be pretty if it wasn't tiny shards of glass. So this is what it's like when doves cry and there's a broken texture <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, she's gonna, oh, she's gonna like die, die. Oh no. Yeah. Does this, one, does this one have a non-lethal option? Nope. Oh. Uh, there, they, that's Daniela. You know, this happened in a horror movie once. Twice, I think, technically. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I, I, lo I, I love Umineko reference. Oh my god, it's just like that fucking <laughs> scene in episode 5. It's just like it for- that's why B wanted us to play Hun Haunting Ground. So true, or we got the Mars key. Well, there's Mars key. So if I may go ahead and say this, I think it actually works in Cromarty's favor for that, because it's a surreal anime to begin with. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, one of the characters is literally just Freddie Mercury. Mm -hmm. And one of them's just a gorilla. Exactly. So, of course, for something like that, you would need some extra explanation. So, of course, they're going to go ahead and say, Hey, we could go ahead and spend all this time wasting it, or you could go ahead and quickly read this from the manga series. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, really? <gasps> you didn't turn him off. Oh, wait. Well, here, thankfully, I can just go back and turn him off now. Uh, How do I do that? Uh, there's just something behind him. Oh, there we go. Yeah, push. Where it doesn't work is if it's like a video game adaptation of a... I guess for anime it doesn't work whenever it's an adaptation that heavily relies on the source material, but it half-asses the adaptation. Like, And I can't believe I'm going to go ahead and say this anime adaptation of Conception. No, I didn't watch it, surprisingly. Uh, sh shockingly, I have I have literally zero interest in playing the Conception series. You're better off not playing it, and you're better off not knowing about it. Wait, what's what I is it about? Been... Thank you for bringing it up. What do then. you think it's? What do you think the Conception Conne series? Conception? Is about? I, it sounds like a oh horror thing. Conception Let's is about. In some ways, yes. Okay, so Conception is a story about a guy. Um, and a bunch of high school girls, and how this dude needs to have so much sex, and then he has to go, go use that special star sex to go what the to, hell to is craft that tiny children to enter dungeons with him and his. I'm sorry, and, what the fuck? Are and you his high about? school girlfriends to kill uh, creatures. Oh, conception. Mm -hmm. what You're are you forgetting guys talking about. about? You're forgetting about the part orange where it's an isekai, and one of the girls happens to be his cousin. The first game was an isekai, the second one wasn't. I played the second one. What game one are you guys talking bit. about? Sweet Home Alabama, anyways, mm. um... Conception. <laughs> uh, the this, sounds, stars. this sounds like a shittier, un, uh, creative line. Hmm, I don't know if I want to say creative, but it sounds like a an even, even shittier version of, uh, what's that game called? Criminal Girls on the PSP? Mm. Is I that the Sephiroth? Yeah, it's no. the Sephiroth. Yeah. It, it, I damn, it keeps, wait, it, no ever since I got into Project Moon, it's been appearing more and more. It's been a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. It's in the really opening of Evangelion. I have no idea how to get anything out of this, and no part of it seems cool. uh, clear about how to go about it. I just mashed buttons and got a bunch of shit. It's fine. Luckily, I don't think you actually have to go about, like... Doing any of this? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it helps. Sure. I think it is helpful, but what not. What the hell important. is that thing? Oh, that is uh. 
Uh, that's the failure. Ew. Yeah, you, don't, like, you probably don't want to stand. There. How are how uh, that means it's dead. Fiona, how are you like remotely scared of any of them? Oh, what is that? Oh, there's thing? also a homunculus. Ah, uh, yes, I love it's homunculi. Dead. It's my favorite thing. It's not gonna attack, is it? Uh, it will if you try to hit it. Okay. I have Reaction. literally zero plans of doing such a thing. Oh, Good it's a call. Globe. Oh, yeah, the reason why I. The reason why I also say Conception is because, one, oh, it is indeed me, terrible, Steve. two, fuck you, Studio Dean, I don't care if you can hear me, just fuck Studio Dean, and three, it actually does the egregious sin of redirecting people to a website for if they have questions on the anime series. There's more than one scene in the anime where it says, if you want to know more about this, just look it up on the website or go back and play the original game. Oh, it doesn't please consult offer the instructional book, Nick, that came with your Speak game. Speaking of conception... Oh, Lord. <gasps> oh, Lord. Oh, um, Lord. N n new Pursuer unlocked. Does that mean she can tell you to fuck off? So, Miss Fiona does not wish to stay at her castle. Oh! That's a flintlock! You miserable wench. You were given the greatest gift of all, and you don't even appreciate it. I can't believe the Azoth has wasted it. What the fuck is this Azoth? Jeez, and who's geez. this Jackoth? This girl will be like, I just want to go home and eat chicken nuggets from McDonald's. <laughs> what the oh fuck? I want to go to doing? McDonald's and this get is chicken the, nuggets. The, uh, run faster. This guy is uh, coming after you. Oh, hey, thanks. He Any alarm. Oh, He's what the fuck? This chicken man be like, Fiona, we are a Burger King castle. Dude, dude, that was a fucking- that's a flintlock- You can have it your way. Dude, that's a fucking flintlock pistol! How the fuck are you shooting me that many times? I, I glammed it. That's a good question. I glammed it. I like the look of a flintlock pistol. This <laughs> is just a Glock. I transmogrified this M1911 into a fucking flintlock pistol because I think it's cool. Fiona. Well, shit, I have to run back into the glockening. What is it with these survival horror games and having dudes who are just fucking strapped trying to kill me? Zigzag, full zigzag. Serpentine. Serpentine! Ha! You have a shit aim. Well, it is a Who is this, Walter Sullivan? No, no, oh, Walter, Sul oh, oh. Walter Sullivan had, like, fucking fantastic aim. It was kind of nuts, to be honest. What did you say he was cracked? Yeah. Uh, what the hell? Don't know, don't know what that does. Don't know what that does. I can't eat an onion. 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 <laughs> yeah, you need it to fetch your tools. Uh, am I just like out of Lord, no. stamina replenishment juice? Oh god. Right, well, yeah, fine. you turned all of your medallions into antimonies and primarios. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, luckily, I think, uh, other than specifically that one I said will hit you, uh, the rest of these guys just d are just kind of set dressing. Hmm. If there's one thing I love to set, it's the dressing, baby. Damn, this bitch cannot leave me alone! Ow, that bullet shot- Oh, man! Yeah, yeah, watch out for those bullets. Don't get shot by them, they hurt a lot. I'll be real, I would have entered panic mode minute one if a dude with a fucking- with a multi-hit flintlock pistol was like, <laughs> I'm going to fucking shoot you now, you fucking whore. <laughs> Die. 
He didn't Anyways. say whore. He said rent. He said wench. That's even actually no. Which, which is worse, being called a whore or being called a wench? Wench. Uh, I mean, a wench is just something. Is just someone that serves. That's like a servant or a maid. I mean, like, a but like, a, a, like a, a, a whore is a, a is a lot heavier of an accusation. Uh, I think it depends on the person, Con, because uh, some people take it as a compliment. Yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, yeah, honestly, like, I I, I would call my friend a whore. I wouldn't call him a wench. <laughs> Over there. Let's see, wench, a girl Are or you young kidding woman. Me? Okay, archaically, oh, God, a wench wait. could also mean a prostitute. I, I am only going to call you a wench if you serve me real good, and I'm sorry, but you're going to have to work for that. You'll have to work well, I like for this it. I like this implies that Joshi is demanding that he be able to pay for it. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Huey. Go down the street, found 50 bucks to the nearest person who lets me call them wench <laughs> for the day. Quench. Hon honestly, if someone gave me fifty bucks to just call me like a a a, a son of a bitch, I I take it. I mean, that's like that's like, would you take a shit for one quadrillion dollars? Like, yeah, of course, that's fine. <clears throat> like, I'll call you a son of a bitch for free. Like, are you kidding me? Alright, cool. Door unlocked. Where does this lead, I wonder? Hmm. Mysterious. I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Hey, wait a second. Ah, oh, fuck. It would appear I found the door that leads me back into the other part of the game that I was just at. Huzzah. I don't think I gotta be here right now. Who's the girl next door living in that haunted mansion? Me in... You better learn find her second edition. Tarasks are called. The Tarask is called the Armageddon Engine. Ooh, that's a good name. That's pretty sick. That's pretty dope. They should have called it that still. And, I, and you know what? If I ever use a Tarask, mm -hmm. I'm still calling it that. Yeah, that's a name for an engine that kicks ass. Mm -hmm. No, the Tarask is like a big monster. Mm hmm. Yes, it, it it's like it's like the the biggest monster there is in it is in, in some de it's it's like the largest general monster. It is it is like famously one of the hardest single creatures to fight in D and D and or Pathfinder. Mm -hmm. I also had a bit of a dumb question to ask you guys. Where do you stand on the whole live-action Little Mermaid thing? Um, I think it's pointless. Uh, like, eh. regardless of any particular... Watch your words. Regardless of so. any particular stances sur surrounding it, I personally believe that there is no need for to be a live-action remake of any particular Disney animated films. And I believe that this is solely you. to be used as a cash grab. I... That that being said, I think okay. it's silly for people to be upset about the fucking about Ariel's casting. I would be more upset about Sebastian being all a crab instead of a lobster. Like, come on! I'm more, I'm more upset at the lack of actual color in the shots. Like, everything looks so gray. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's Disney for you. Mm -hmm. It do be soulless. However, however, however. The well, actress who plays Ariel, beautiful, <coughs> not the problem. I'm so happy to see. Fucking Haley, the aerial bro. She's about to sing it down. Hmm. Party the problem. Be fucking slapping. Huh. Understandable. No, the problem. I mean, I I... Watch the movie just to listen to her sing, though. Like, I mean, I will. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. I'll give it a chance. I won't like. 
I won't be shocked if I don't enjoy it a super ton, but I mean, like, I'm kind of mid on, like, original Little Mermaid, too. Like, I could, like, I mean, sure, why not? Like, I'm more sad about them not casting Lizzo as Ursula anyways. Damn, they should have. She has won a Grammy. Damn it, that would have been great. Mm-hmm. Who is live action or so? Uh, oh, really? Is it Melissa McCarthy? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It like is. That. Really? Mm-hmm. Like, Ow. like I mean, the original <coughs> Ursula, from my understanding, was based off of a famous drag queen. I feel like they would want to carry something similar to that degree, but like that's. Well, I mean, uh, you you can find a woman who can act like that too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I suppose. Well, the transmuter. Oh, okay, cool. I found a transmuter. What the fuck does this do, actually? I didn't read a it single transmutes. fucking word of that. Synthesizing two objects together, and it's a task that any fool could surely complete. The true sage strives to master the art of transformation and the deep inner secrets to be reaped. That's what people call me. White is the fool's color, as they will never know the glories to be had beyond the, stat- the stale hue. The true scholar is striving for perfection knows only the quest of the <coughs> color red. Okay, so red good. Uh... Hmm. Oh, maybe I need Sorry. to change. Maybe I need to change the color or something. Hmm. Uh, is there a hole somewhere in here? I think I'm mine. Trying to figure out which room this is. This is a red room. Hmm. Oh, there's I think a, mine... there was a hole significantly further back. Hmm. I think my significant problem I have with just the remake of The Little Mermaid is the same problem I had with The Little Mermaid. With, no, sorry. With the remakes of The Lion King and The Jungle Book and Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella. Just, we have all of these classic 2D movies and Disney just keeps remaking these and it's just... Are you so saying weird. you forgot about Dumbo, Lady and the Tramp, Aladdin... Wait, there was a Lady and the Tramp fucking HD. Yeah, movie. and it wasn't that oh good my in God, Pinocchio. You're right, I forgot. I mean, I don't. Re- I remember the Pinocchio one. I don't remember the fucking Aladdin. I don't remember the Lady and the Tramp one. What you sure don't. You know why? Because they almost. Hey, guess what? The only thing they change in the story is what? Uh, the cats aren't racist anymore. Oh, lovely. And instead, they're That's just like. Good, I guess. I- instead, they're just like two like cool sassy black dudes who are gonna like cause some trouble and fuck with your house just because they being like mean girls or some shit and yet they're, they're, they're sassy just like we're good that kind of yeah well i mean then like it's lady and the tramp they only show up for that long and then just kind of stop being part of the story still lame like it's also just the fact that what they about keep Cruella? all of these that was another issue what I had. Oh, Cruella, Cruella uh, hired. They Never, also what turned. About... They Never also forget turned... the dog drop kick. What about Maleficent? Maleficent what about Maleficent is... 2? Hold is it. Is there a sequel? Hold it. Yeah, Maleficent okay. 2, uh, Queen of. I think she is the Mistress of Darkness. Wait a minute. Maleficent oh, is. Materia. Maleficent. Is... Maleficent is my one exception because it does take the material, but it makes something different from it. Okay. Uh, first off, I was wrong. It's Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. And I haven't seen the sequel, so I don't think that counts for me. Oh yeah, no. Uh, like which the... I've, uh, which I also find hilarious because she isn't the evil one in it, just like she isn't the evil one in the first movie. So why was she evil in Beauty and the Beast if she's not actually, or not Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty if she's not actually evil, actually? So the real answer is like... Adaptation. The, the, the real answer is like, man, Sleeping Beauty was like the fucking kid version that like the fucking government's telling you, man. The stuff that like the king wants you to think, dude. And like... Uh, the reality is the king basically just sucks really hard for no particularly good reason, and he's a psycho. Uh, 
and everything bad that happens to him is pretty much his fault because he just ruined Maleficent's life for essentially no reason or for power. It's through an adaptations and recontextualization that we feel sorry oh. for Maleficent. <sighs> And oh, thus also, we turn uh, into baddies into someone that we do feel like is necessarily supposed to be bad. Uh, the other repeated joke is that she's actually basically Aurora's mother, all also because the three fairies are like absolute shit at parenting because they're just fairies who used to live in the woods and don't know like how to take care of children. Like she almost walks off a cliff like four times. And then there's that. So it basically recontextualizes like every good person in the film as being evil or just stupid, and everything else is just embellishment of the king. And it's all to, for the effort to make Maleficent look like more of a justifiable figure. And the second one they made is basically adapting the other half of Sleeping Beauty that nobody remembers or cares about, which is... Uh, uh, they go back to the king's king to Prince Philip's kingdom, and his mom is still in control there because she's like the queen, but she's like his stepmom, and also she's an ogre, and also she just wants to like eat them because she eats people. It's, there, there's not any good, understandable motivations, and okay, I'm under the impression that? Maleficent too is that, except she's just more e it's going to be evil against evil well what what it when her, when her, just wants to open the door to kingdom hearts when are we getting the live action remake of cinderella 2 mm -hmm. Never. as soon as disney realizes that the only good part of cinderella 2 was actually the one story about anastasia I think they almost kind of wiped that into Cinderella. Like, I think I remember it happening in the remake where it's like it's stepmother and other stepsister are sad and angry and like water gets dumped on them because they're bad. And then like the other stepsister like said something nice once and like kind of questioned her place in the world but then went back to being evil, then at the end she kind of like holds hands with a guy and stands up to her mom for an entire second. So, lack of consistency. And if not, I've just written a better story than they did. Hey, no, uh, I, I threw my dog down a hole. Uh, where did he go? I, which hole? Where was this at? And what did you do? Uh, there is a hole uh, in, like... A location? Hold on a second. In a location? You don't say. So I, what went, did up, you do? I went up some stairs and there was like a door that got like fucked up beyond repair so I kicked it and there's a laboratory in there. There's a hole in that laboratory. I think the hole decomposer the is next to it. Oh, it's the decomposer room. Okay, yeah, you sent him through there. Uh, you good, ain't. that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, return to the circular area where the failures fell from in the curved corridor. All right, I have to technically go find... lo losing him was progress. I mean that's understandable, but yeah, uh, I have to find the circular area now because I had to run away a lot and I don't remember where the fuck any of that shit was. Mm, I think the do... circu the circular area is the place with that statue in it. I'm pretty sure. Granted, there is a lot of circular areas. Mm. That is not an entryway. I was just making sure. Okay, back into the nightmare room. Yes, it is your fucking nightmare. Man, like, I hate it While when, like, someone says something, like, life. tangentially related to a, like, deep and buried memory of mine. Hey, Orange. The bushes. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's really weird because it's like, no, like, it it had to be in that exact moment that just reminded me, or else it just wouldn't have happened. It had to be at that time, I feel like. I feel like if you said it any other time, it wouldn't have sent me back. So fucking weird. You, are you gonna elaborate, or no? Uh, I won't elaborate on the story, but like, uh, there is like this this 
thought process in which I got reminded of yeah, a story about a friend I had involving back entrances. And I went, this is like so unrelated. How did that get linked? Oh, and yeah, okay. here we go. Uh, call to him. Exceptional job, Yui. When is oh, Disney oh, gonna? Oh, when is Disney gonna adapt Beowulf? When is Disney gonna adapt Haunting Grounds? When is Disney going to adapt? Close Bayonetta? that door. Bayonetta. Dude, the last time Beowulf had a live-action adaptation, if I remember correctly, a Playboy bunny oh. was in. When are they gonna? Uh, when is Disney gonna adapt Grand Theft the Auto Four? Door when is Disney gonna adapt the Ballad of Gay Tony? Yeah! Okay, I actually would like to see that. You know, just like a video game adaptation. Ballad of Gay Tony, let's see that. Eh? See, there you go. Eh? Get some Corvu, get some Wombo. Yeah, A24, gonna... get on that. You get you get you get a man you get a, you get a man who's like I'm pretty sure has a drug addiction. It's been a while since I played the Ballad of Gay Tony. Honestly, I should play the GTA 4 again on stream. Welcome to sure. Purify. So lately, like, like, fucking like I you can't do anything. For people that any don't energy. know, fucking GTA 4 is like my favorite like GTA game and kind of up there in terms of like the video games. Uh, I would say that Lost in the Dam is probably the weakest expansion out of all the GTAs or GTA 4 expansions. But like the Ballad of Gay Tony and just base GTA 4. Mm. Close that door. Perfect. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, that reminds me. If you have to go ahead and if you want to go ahead and play it on stream, isn't there an edition where you have to play it because the soundtrack is still super copywritten? Well, no. Okay, so like they, the yeah. Well, one they nuked all like the music anyway, so like. Well, the majority. Okay. Welcome to the vi uh yeah, no, keep going. You're going to the very dangerous corridor. Very dangerous. What makes it so very dangerous if you don't mind me asking? Uh don't run that d uh, probably don't run that fast into it. Uh destroy oh, God, it. Huey. 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 Maybe get out of the doorway. Oh no, I think you have to physically fight it yourself. Oh, okay. Da -na 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 -na. You kick it. It just dies of its own volition. Go. <clears throat> this one surely won't automatically try to kill me. Yeah, it's a homunculus, they don't do shit. Homunculus in my story? No way! Don't these dudes bent over in chairs looking like they're having panic attacks that get me? They're going through a rough time being homunculi. They don't have, like, souls or anything. Probably kind of sucks. It's a bit funny because one of my favorite characters in my D&D mm -hmm. setting is a homunculus. <gasps> hey, if something doesn't have a soul, then does it truly exist? Yes. If we can see it, then it exists. No, it does exist, but that does mean it is morally okay to torture it to death. Whoa! But what was that reaction, Josh? <laughs> Sorry, I was just like, I was, I was, like, I was uh, uh, flabbergasted by the, the the jump to torture. You got flashbanged. Unfortunately, while it is alive, it cannot be invited to the cookout. Aww. Why not? But they only act whenever action is taken upon them. So... Oh, uh, there's also a sofa there that you can duck under. Oh, okay, cool. I hope he doesn't see me. Yeah, I think he sees me. Oh! Yeah, that might be a problem then. And so but that... luckily, guess what? You're backed in the crypt! Oh, lovely. He needs to show you the grave. Oh, shit. Rise from your grave. Rise from your grave. When, when, are, we gonna do, like when are we going to do the eventual beat em up streams? Oh, that's right. We still have to do. We have to. We still have to do. We have still have to do nostalgia critic duo, duos on that one fucking game. 
There you go. What? What game? Oh yeah, there was like there's like a 2D side-scrolling beat 'em up that Josh had gifted me one point, uh, where you can play as the Nostalgia Critic. Uh, I assumed that me and Joshy were both going to play Nostalgia Critic throughout that entire game. I believe game. you can. I don't remember 100% if that's actually co-opable, but I do know if we wanted four people, we could, like, do four people for, like, a 2v2 thing. Mm -hmm. Does that one also have AVGN, or am I thinking of something else? No, nah, it doesn't have AVGN. It has other, uh, that guy with the glasses reviews, though. Is, is there a game? Is the, does like, it have really? a name? Is it called something? Uh... It's called Streets of Fury EX. Mm -hmm. uh, this game is surprisingly good. I'm not gonna shit you. Uh, yeah. Nostalgia Critic kind of plays like a, a fucking Marvel vs. Capcom character. Or, or maybe... Or alternatively, if you wanted, he can be put in X-Art if you really wanted to. Oh, look at the poor baby! Look at your poor Huey! The, the only thing I would demand is that he can't have a 3D uh, anime... Um, uh, a model. He has to be the fucking, fucking PNG sprite from the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that reminds me of like one of my favorite like silly little fucking 2DS games that I could never get anybody to do with me. It was like you had to you had to like take photographs of other people and convert them into like fighting game characters. I thought it was really silly, but I liked the idea. Oh, Mugen! I love Mugen. So it's That's like Dong Dong never died. A little bit, yeah. It when are you going to play the Hiroshi versus Toho? <laughs> Where Can't every character is explicitly so played by the same, like, three dudes in their, like, early 20s. Dude, Huey's too scared to go and grab it. Nah, it's it's the type of thing that's literally out of reach, so only Huey can grab it. Go, Huey. Here we go, get it. Go, Huey. There we go, he's getting it. Ew, smelly gravestones. I'm not going to walk over those. Here we get it for me. I got the Prima Materia. You're gonna need a lot of this, apparently. Oh, no. Alright, well, let's find now a bunch give... of fucking Prima Materia, then. Now give Huey loves, because that dude just got shot at by a dude with a flintlock. Yeah, okay. That's not a flintlock, that's a flint glock. That thing fucking... That thing has like 12 metal balls in it that it can shoot at any given time. Hey, yeah, what about the Scott Pilgrim game? That's also a good fucking... Beat -up. It's good, but I have... I have some problems with how it plays. Really? Especially when the fucking TMNT game exists. Like, comparatively speaking, it's like, bleh. Yeah, but it's got that aesthetic. Mm-hmm. So do I have to go back into this particular area? Uh, yeah, head into the crypt. Okay, back into the crypt I go. I gotta get the Prima Materia so I can summon Ultima. I mean, so I can cast Ultima. Okay, uh, uh no, okay, oh yeah, you're, you're just out here in general, okay. Uh, return to the green tank room. Lovely. The one with the green tank in it. I love returning to the green tank. It's my favorite tank. It helps it helps restore uh, Mega Man's HP. Look for the extractor. But yeah, also, I'll just, I'll never forgive corporations that have a f fuck loads of money, because, like, if I was in there, she'd be like, fuck it, I don't care what the investors say, pump out a bunch of fucking cool-ass movies, get some people with some ideas, I wanna see some shit. <laughs> I don't care how family-friendly Disney is, we're gonna make so much shit. <laughs> That's definitely not PG-13. Honestly, Disney should make cocaine bear too. Yeah, but make it like in the style of like classic <laughs> Disney, like classic Disney. Like like animated? Yeah, like animated. I was gonna, I was just gonna suggest they they, they stop doing the live action remakes and just do cocaine cocaine bear. No, no, no. You like, put you like, like you put the cocaine bear put, sequels. You, yeah, you put the budget into cocaine bear, but here's the thing, right? You get a random author from uh, uh, fanfiction.net <laughs> to write the next one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on board with this. Keep talking. Like, like, and here's the thing, right? Like, they, they say, you have to say you have to at least acknowledge the previous movies. 
right? So like the, if a movie, the if cocaine a movie, their cinematic universe. Well, no, it's not a cinematic universe. It's the series, the cocaine series, Cape Bear series. <laughs> okay, but also the cocaine bear cinematic universe. Well, no, it's not a cinematic universe. How dare Let's you? Make it's it a cinematic a universe. It's not called a cinematic universe. But if it's a cinematic galaxy. I'm... Okay, there you go. We can call it a cinematic galaxy. I'm down with false advertisement. God, I'm so fucking tired of cinematic universes. I'm ready for movies to be singular now. I want video game universes, though. Give me more Kill the Past. So, so you want uh, singularity? Is that what you yes, want? I want the video game singularity. I want all video games to be related specifically by Ryu being in them from streets. Chad GPT, write me an entire script for the silver case, the movie. Make sure it's inventive. Oh yeah, that's right. You know, it's a bit funny. I was considering learning Unity so I could help Bone with this fucking project, but also, uh, the Unity just announced a, uh, fucking, what is it? You, they just announced the goddamn AI bot, so I'm never going to learn Unity now. Thanks for making that really easy for me. I mean, like, what kind of bot is it? Like, it's going to help make the game for you. Oh man, that's gonna be shitty. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be- that's just gonna be shitty games. We're getting a oh new- boy. New Age of Shovelware, baby! <laughs> I mean, you could just, like, turn it off, couldn't you? I mean, yeah, but I just- I find the pra- I find the pra- the, uh, the, pr the the practice abhorrent. I'll use Godot or something. That sounds good. Cool. I mean, like, also, like, I feel like people are just, like, I feel like people are, like, not conflating the AI problems, but I feel like if it says AI, people will just assume it's, like, the fucking AI or yeah, AI upstairs, voice. And they'll be like, oh, bad, and I'm like, that's that's not really how that works. Because people, <clears throat> like, see people announce bots for shit, like, and shit like that, and I go, like, guys, this, this, that's probably not the same. What the fuck are you talking about? This is a completely different isolated area. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Alright, let's see. The next processor is in here. Okay. Yeah, this is the purifier. This is this is the classical like five steps of alchemy. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't rem there was a big exhibit about it, but I didn't have time to read everything, so I just took pictures. Silver ore. I Silver thought case. I thought the main process of, uh, of alchemy was summoning. It was making a summoning circle, uh, digging up your mom's grave, uh, and then failing miserably. That and is then the losing forbidden your brother word. and your arm and your leg. But at least you got the truth. Mm hmm. Ed lost his arm and leg, right? I believe so. Among other things. And also his height. Mm hmm. He didn't lose his eye. I feel like he was always short, wasn't he? You see, you, did, you haven't finished reading it then, have you? Oof. Well, I never, I never did read it. Unfortunate. Oof. I never read it. Let oh, us. Read it, bitch. Yeah, you're making a godstone. Yeah, okay. Godstone Mandervel. Yeah, you got that. Uh -huh. To which processing machine do I go next? Uh, Noir the Alchemist. Go to the Impossible Stairs? Impossible Stairs? Okay. This probably isn't the right way, but I'm gonna go there anyway. This is not the Impossible Stairs. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and walk for a minute, because Fiona can't take much more of this chicanery. Bro, can you stop licking for like five goddamn seconds? Oh my god. Like, yeah, maybe later. He's, he's working really hard. He's not doing a very good job, but he's working really hard. Okay, so this is... Okay, so we're back here. Fortunately, this entire thing, like, loops around completely and utterly. This is the next door. Okay, Go so this up. is the green room. And take a right. Oh, uh, okay. So this one? Up and to the right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one? Uh, well, yes, yeah, so let me see it. Let me see, this is the decomposer. No, this is the other thing we need. Uh, hmm. 
Hmm. Cause we need the we need the synthesizer. Yes, I think yeah. Spiral staircase, uh-huh. Yeah. Rhinoceros beetle, uh-huh. With the left side, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think you can get rid of that perfume. I don't think it does anything. <laughs> or at least not anymore. That reminds me, let me throw away the fucking cadmium plate. I'm still stuck with that shit, though. That's oh, like silver ore. Oh, oh, it's silver. It's your buddy. This is, this is Ricardo, by the way. Oh, okay, cool. With two C's for some reason? Why? Ricardo. Not sure. Oh man, that fucking hurt to say actually. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, no, escape time. Don't worry. Don't gotta worry about finding the synthesizer. <laughs> I tried to go and get my stuff swapped over so I can get my bed sheets clean. No, nope, my sister has already started their load of laundry, so I have oh. to wait. On the bright Never side, mind, there's I should pizza wash the... my bed sheets. On Honestly, the bright side, there's same. a pizza in the kitchen, so I got pizza. Nice. Can this dude stop fucking riding my dick for like one minute? God damn. Look at where I close that. Okay, I think that particular area was next. I think I saw the impossible stairs. Also, here, there's an item over here. I didn't notice it before. Gimme. The Verde medallion. I think I'll just cycle around so that way he doesn't fucking catch me. Let's see. I think we already used this one, yeah? Yeah, the purifier. Uh -huh. That's the purifier. Well, actually, it's already pure. I know how to get to the fucking, uh... Here, hold on a second. I'm gonna make a- I'm gonna make a daring attempt really quickly. I'm gonna just see if he ran in an opposite direction or something. Because I'm pretty sure I ran past the purifier on the way here. The synthesizer? The synthesizer, yes. And granted, I did also run past the purifier, but that's beside the point. True. This is factual information, true. Well, I don't know why I'm agreeing with myself, but whatever. Uh, anyways. Mm -hmm. I believe it was Rich back down bar. this way. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. We're back in the impossible stairs. Hey, everyone. Hey, Internet. We're back in the impossible stairs. Stairs which simply cannot be. Alright, let's see. Extractor. Yeah, we already extracted it. Shit. Another dumb question. Where do you guys stand on all of the liminal space stuff? You don't stand on the liminal space stuff. <laughs> for the record, I don't I get it. it. For the record, I do You'll enjoy it. it. For the record, I do it enjoy it. It annoys me that people use, are using the word liminal wrong, but it is a neat aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, hmm. I also think that people Next have gone door. and taken that stuff, run with it, and that people have overused the back rooms. The so, bathrooms fucking suck now. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, why do they suck? Because they started to levels and shit. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. Like Is there anything where they? Tr they're trying to put a label on everything, man. Like honestly, like you know what it reminds me. You know what I like? What is it? I was scrolling back through um my my media in my Twitter tab. And I fucking remember, because I, like, I, I wanted to watch that uh, that edit that I made of, like, one of the openings for Uman Echo that, that had less spoilers in it. And um, something that I remembered was that I made a fucking, I made a shit post of, like, bro of Broly standing in the back rooms. And, like, you could very distantly hear, go Broly, go, go, like, a little bit further in the back. The thing is that I made that a year and a half ago. The back rooms is still going. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think it seems to be somewhere, somewhere near though. this room. Hmm. Is it the thing where it's like... The there, series there, being long-running doesn't innately make it bad. I know, I know. It's well, it's, it's less of like... Well, no, because here's the thing. It's like, the concept of the backrooms was made about a year 
about a year and a change ago. And then people started fucking running with it and doing weird shit with it. And Turning guess, it into mm -hmm. SCP. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Fanfics. The Gajinkas. Well, well, what if, what if, what if you killed that deity and then you started California Girl Dancing? How about that? Now, that being said, I, be pretty fucked up. I really like the idea of, like, of the liminal spaces aesthetic, and I think it can be, it can be used effectively, but as of right now, just, like, walking endlessly in, like, liminal areas isn't necessarily very entrancing. It's just kind of like, this is such a vibe, man. Oh, man, I'm vibing out right now. Oh, my God. I mean, like, it, it's kind of like, it's kind of like... I, heard, I sure hope something doesn't leap out at me. There, it's, it's like, it's like the thing where it's, like, someone who really understands and, like, gets, like, the what you could do creatively with like the backroom setting will obviously run with it and do it real well however however you will get people who just don't fucking understand and will just you know kind of flop onto it because it's a trend right mm -hmm. and like it will just make it kind of seem shitty exactly it's meant to be something that's anxiety inducing and just uncanny valley-esque once you take away those two elements, everything about it just becomes generic again. And it just becomes lame. What the fuck? Huh? Oh. Okay, wait, wait. This is where these guys were here. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is the transmuter. Okay. It says this is where we need to go after we get here, but it's not telling me where we need to be. It's not really telling me where the fuck the synthesizer is. Hmm. Because I don't imagine that's back in, like, the previous zone. Oh, does your map help in any way whatsoever? The map is just the this. just this. <laughs> There's no, like, further detail to it. It's just, I think it just tells you where save points are, and that's it. No, for Man. liminal spaces... <laughs> Now, mostly for liminal spaces, and I'm not exactly sure if this does qualify, we get stuff like this, where it's underground water pools with floats and stuff. Is this even liminal? Yeah, that's liminal. Okay, let me see here. Find a it homunculus is. who's near some stairs? Mm -hmm. That's That seems to be my best option. So it, we seem to be in generally the right area. Mm -hmm. But it's not super clear yet the best explanation that i was given about well the, about the about like the nature of liminality something that like super eye patch wolf said a while ago where it's like liminal spaces are like are the in between of like f of going from like an elevator to a hotel room it's like it's the hotel uh stair it's like the hotel walkway like the hallway mm hmm and then you just remo you you make you make people absent essentially from that particular point. You take your first right up here. I think it might okay. be saying. Hmm, that would explain the uncanny valley feel. Mm -hmm. This oh it, wait, did it mean this room at the table? Oh, no, that's not it. Because like yeah, this is the this is the purifier again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We. I apologize for the bumblefuckery on my on my on my behalf. Uh, 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 val valued uh, valued consumers of the or orange boy content. Oh no, he came back. Fuck. You can't close the door. Come. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Are you kidding me? I'm also sorry if I've been very talkative. I've just oh, no, been in one of like... Actually, just I want to have meaningful conversations right now. The biggest issue, like, don't get me wrong, this game's cool. I like it a lot. It's just that it's like it's a lot of walking at the end of the day. Understandably so, because it's a, it's a survival horror game. But also, there's not really much be in between happening. Not unlike a liminal space. Uh, how many people do you think developed a crush on this character, the main one? Or Miss Fiona? <laughs> I mean, you can pretty easily gauge that by just going to fucking Rule 34 and then typing this character's name in. <gasps> it seems like our best bet by now might be trying to f head back to the Mars door. Oh. Yeah, it wants you to backtrack, but it's not being very clear on how and where. I mean, and I know much of anything else. I I know how to get to the Mars Ooh. door. Cause like if they, uh, that, I don't know how easy that would be 
or the mm-hmm. crypt. I don't know. It's not clear. <clears throat> if I need to go to the crypt or the Mars door, I can do that, I think. Because, like, yeah, yeah, Mars door was just how I got here to begin with, so that that that's not too particularly difficult. That, that dude just will not stop licking. This is the... Okay, yeah, been, been through here already. But, uh, yeah, no, like... I appreciate the idea of, like, a, a liminal in-between, almost kind of like purgatory kind of space. Yeah, I guess that's, that's, that, I guess that's a good way to capture it. It's like, it's, it's familiar, but very, but not very comfortable. Alright, so I'm back at the Mars door. Let's see. Uh... Mm-hmm. The Mars door. This is uh, Head up the stairs, the Mars stairs, and enter your first door on the left. Okay. Mm-hmm. There must be one up here then. Yeah, I'm gonna just save while I'm up here. Just to be safe. Gotta make some goddamn godstone. Oh my fucking god, okay. Synthesizer? Yeah, there it hey. is. Hey! Oh, so you found it! Mm hmm. Well, I found something. <laughs> Item ch- I got the white godstone. Now we just have to go get the other uh, one. So, remember where that statue is in the middle of that room with the big door, and it's got like a pair of scales? Oh, uh, so I have to put this on the scales in order to get the, the other thing so I can get the, the other godstone bit that I need? I think, or something similar to that. Mm-hmm. Let me save again now that I got the, I got the funny. It's a bit unfortunate because, like, I I'm I'm incredibly fond of the vibe. It's just that it's very hard to, I think, capture. And I guess, but the term would be like a meaningful way, because like when you try to like assign shenanigans to the back rooms or like any particular type of liminal space, it stops Thank being you. less. It's it becomes less interesting overall. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. It becomes less scary. Well, I think like I think the ultimate thing is that the back rooms shouldn't necessarily be. I mean, I guess it can be, it can kind of be scary a little bit, but the more, the more than that, I want I want you should feel like this strange like feeling and kind of like this like off kilterness. You should feel uncomfortable being in a. Well, it's space. like the it's the uncanny right. valley, just mm-hmm. n- not with people, but with scenery. Yeah. It's an uncanny world you're in now mm-hmm. and everything is similar but flawed in such a way that it looks suspicious yeah the lighting is made to be it is made to be purposefully uncomfortable mm-hmm. sometimes to the impossible degree yeah do you think do you think as soon as they introduced like a, a fucking creatures in the back room it became less scary oh 100 percent yeah immediately mm-hmm. yeah mr like... back room also <laughs> check on the table Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, the implication is better than just having something outright chasing you. Mm. Because of the implication. Yeah, okay, because you must have already something gotten tangible it. there, then you know that there's a threat. If you imagine there's a threat, then you get slightly more screw loose. When day beckons night. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, because of the scale. Mm-hmm. In the balance, if you will. Puzzle completed, I think. Can I take it back? Yeah. I mean, it goes with the whole horror aspect of less is more. You don't want to explain everything outright in horror, or else it's going to go ahead and lose potency. 
Because, like, when you, when you give it rules and all sorts of other bullshit, it's like, well, now this is just, like, a thing you guys are doing. Exactly. Also, like, I've seen people's attempts to make backrooms monsters. They're they're never good. The, the, the only ones I've seen are, like, weird, like, lanky, like, like, stick figures. You mean the 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 the, the fucking the bacteria from Kane Texas? Hey, pet your dog. Things? What? Huh? You look like the fucking that, that one demon from fucking the Smiling Friends in that episode. Yeah, that yeah, that's the that's the one from that's the one from Kane Pixels backrooms. His his stuff is good. Fun fact: he got I think he got a I think he got a deal with A twenty four. Dude, is that blackface? <laughs> Whoa! Is that fucking blackface, dude? No, guys, I, it's not. I'm a demon from the forest across the street. No, it's, no, oh no, no. This isn't a man. This isn't blackface. I'm a real demon. <laughs> I honestly thought you were talking about Jeremy. I'm and not talking about Jeremy. Jeremy. No, Jeremy from the later episode where uh... your only form of entertainment. Yeah, Jeremy. Yo, if you do that again, I'm gonna hit you. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> The new oh. celebrity president is German 95. I'll shut up. I told you it was going to be that. Oh, fuck! Hubert, what? no! What? What happened? Huey! Uh, Hubie, what Hubie ran off and got shot, presumptively? Or does no. Oh, God. Out shot. here, you can... Out here, Wait, you this... can really see that line for your uh, movement here. Oh, God. Why is everything blurring behind you now? Uh, it's the terror radius. <laughs> it's my enemy stand. <gasps> What's the terror radius? Is that a mechanic? That's a oh, a dead the dead enemy like stand. Oh. Every single person is a stand user. <laughs> well, it is a mechanic, just not for this game. What? That was I, I, tr I tried to do something with like singing like "Oh, Oh, the misery" and like the stand a stand user. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, g g go off, Joshy. So true. Go off. Go off, German 95. Not German 95. Alright, you're right. Yeah, Correct. he's far Joshy more 95. good looking. Joshy 95. It was terrible. You know, sp Paul speaking Saints of see, 95. I just realized, I think that line is the draw distance of the fog. Oh, 100%. Probably. Yeah, like... The, the, so the fog has a good. visible limit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, here. I don't want to go back. I want to go back into the forest. The chaos forest. Me when my son walks up to me and explains that the forest creatures. So will that means you go to the left. Treaty. Oh no! Oh no! Not the big wide open forest level. What the fuck is this? Ugh. Yo, the fuck! Fucking, yo, the open world segment. Yeah, let's go. No, I'm gonna kill you. Why not? I. Uh, you know, actually, I think by yeah, complete yeah, accident, right you now. made it most of the way correctly in the first place. Oh, cool. Oh. Awesome. Uh, hey, in fact, you might Bumble be able to hear him. I don't know. Bumblefucky. Oh, wait, no, there you go. There, yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, certainly does seem to be a lake. We're finding Timony. You just see fucking. Crazy. You just see James from Silent Hill oh, fucking, hey. fucking like uh, going along the boat, going along with his little he's, boat. Yeah, and you see him going along in the boat, and he's all like, "I'm really sad right now." They're like, see. "Why?" And he's like, "Silent Hill." <laughs> if you look even further on the lake, you can see that boat of misguided uh, teenagers from. Uh, uh... How could <laughs> I be so misguided? <laughs> What was that game we played? That anthology game? Uh, anthology, anthology of, of fear? fear? No, no, not that one. The one that was in the game series of anthology. The one about AJ Holmes. Oh yeah. Oh, dark. Uh, his dark materials. Yeah, dark, the dark pictures and anthology. Wait, were those games good? Uh, I enjoyed the. Some yeah. of them were pretty good. Um, I enjoyed. Some of them were kind of shitty. Why is it gotta be anal? Anal mythology, yeah. Why is it gotta be anal? It's like my favorite character from Nikkei, anus. <laughs> she makes a funny face. Mm hmm. She makes an anal apology. 
episode of Columbo oh, I watched earlier today was kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh no! Dog down! Dog down! No! Good boy down! You're gonna get out of here, Riley! Good pupper down! I thought I was gonna start fucking playing Legacy from DMC5. Bro, you won't. Bro, down. you won't give me a second to heal fucking, my dog. You just see. No. You just see fucking. I mean, Nero. you could probably like just. Uh, yeah. Holy also, run. You also see like you just see near. Why is the satch? Oh, wait, that's just a guy in the hood. Anyways, it's back to what I was saying. Um, uh, you just see <laughs> Nero running up to Huey, being like, "I'm not letting you die." <laughs> I swear. That reminds me, I should fucking- I gotta re-download DMC5, I wanna play some more of that. God damn. <laughs> what the fuck is this- a, Oh, thing? uh, I think you can- remember that bush you saw that you can clip directly into? Oh, can you- can you hide I think in you there? can hide in it? Oh, well, let's find uh, Maybe? Watching an episode of Columbo with Leslie Nelson in it earlier. Mm -hmm. It's weird, because he played- what? He just, okay, it was weird because he played the victim, and normally when they have real big names, they generally play the culprit. It's the culprits around for the whole episode. This guy sounds like Dan Smith. Well, I mean, to be fair, that might have been like before the big, uh, the big uh, airplane takeoff, where Leslie Maybe. Nielsen started being like an interesting actor that people cared about. Good airplane. Again. Wow, let me check. Late 80s? 80? 1980s. Exactly. Never mind, 80. When did this episode of Columbo happen? This might have been earlier. When I think Columbo started, starts in the late 70s. It starts when? in like the mid to late 70s, I think. When exactly did modern media actually want to get more into Columbo? When the hell did this all happen? Relatively it started recently. being good. Mm -hmm. he is, is have it, I already sorry, seen this? One? Haven't we? Haven't they? Ta uh, I said we, but uh, haven't hasn't the LGBTQ adopted a, a combo? Oh, that oh. should get fucking shot. Wait, the LGBTQ community adopted Columbo. This, this episode of Columbo first aired in 1975, so this might have been before Leslie Nielsen was like a big name again. Eh. What? That is what you do. What Azoth? I don't even know what that is. That Azoth belongs to us, Fiona. Don't you see? You Fiona. are your child. Stop! Uh, I am the first. your child. I know exactly who my parents are. Fiona, we are. The cruise. I hold invaluable information from the dawn of time. Why? I am a great alchemist. I will not die. I am Oriola's belly, and I. Look at me, Fiona. Look. What? <gasps> he is not going to say it. Ugo. <laughs> Your father's name My... was Ugo? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, what? Alchemy. Sons of Big Boss! <laughs> Fiona, do not faint off of that cliff, honey. Meet, meet the one daughter. Fiona. <laughs> Now let's see how nice you were to our good friend Huey. Damn. Oh, uh -huh. what is that? Oh my goodness.
Oh, there's a bunch of Did German games like on Mr. Steam. X. What the f- Thought you said you were a clown. Oh, thank God she didn't fan off the cliff. I guess that, I guess he became the original by virtue of killing off the person who died. The, the original killed off the other. I, I killed so, the others, thus making me the original. So it's so clone jar from D and D. Hmm. So magic jar. Magic jar. What? I'm thinking of. Cl I'm, I'm combining those two spell names. Nope. I think it's just called clone. I'm yeah, giving... clone you clone you just basically uh, find a square inch of flesh you're willing to lose. Uh, oh good, you got the you you have not achieved the worst ending, which is you abandon Huey. Oh thank goodness. Wait, are we like on the wait, are we on like the home stretch? Let me check. So, he's a clone, but he's the original. So then, does that also mean that he's Fiona's father and grandfather? Oh no. It's unclear. Is this an incest story? Probably. Uh, it, was there some incest in here? Capcom, did you he put just incest said he's in my video game? To him. You see, Capcom, I wouldn't expect it from you. I wasn't expecting the incest in my good ear game, Capcom. Why do we Not always find Capcom. incest? Why do we always find incest in every video game we play? No, Hold on, no. I don't. That's that's a bit absurd. Not every vi okay. That's to be fair. There was a bit of incest in that one game you played, Josh. Which and one? And the other one. V three. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, remember uh, the guy who murdered two people? Don't elaborate, please. Sorry. sorry that person sorry. who did that thing. That guy with the stuff? I the love, dude with uh, the stuff and the cauldron stuff. I, I guess... I, I guess yeah, there's that, but that besides that, I had nothing. I've got no incest. I've, I've, I'm fucking golden, baby. I'm, I'm incest-free. Are you about to make a No More Heroes reference? No. <laughs> you totally oh. were. Uh, I like it says the bronze figure doesn't do anything. It's just useless. Not easy, wait, wait. Not it, it's now trash. trapped in your it, it. It's now trapped inside of your inventory. Uh, okay. I didn't even need to use the fucking forest map. I love that it's just called the chaos forest. No, orange, Simple just... and clean, am I right? Mm. No orange. Simple well, and clean is it? I, I'm, I'm holding this thing. I wonder, sure. are there any games with that uses makes a flashlight a weapon? Uh, Alan Wake. All oh, right. Aside from yeah. Alan Wake. Uh. Presumptively, uh, red. F oh no! <laughs> and he's invisible oh, now. Oh. <laughs> he's a very strange texture. He's invisible. You found glitch now. This is way cooler. Please, please, I want it to pan out. I gave yeah! you eye surgery so you couldn't see me. Missing no, yes. I don't know about you, but this is a way cooler effect. Also, how is she unable to hear him? You can hear things you can't see. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, how is she unable to, like, how, is she not able to hear him right in front of her face? I mean, if he's not saying anything, it's a little bit hard. No, but he was, he was just monologuing there five seconds ago. I think it's just the game. Hmm. This video game. Hmm. Sounds like my niece is awake. Poor right. baby. Oh no, he's right, there is nowhere to run! What? Oh, for fuck's sake! Lavender. You Lavender. sure did lavend. Me when I dev on that lav. Oh. She lav my dev till I err? 
kind of works. Oh, hello. What did AC post on Twitter? What did AC post on Twitter? Oh, did AC post porn? Uh, Again? Something. Atari entered into an agreement to acquire Night Dive Studios. Oh, no. Oh, no. System Shock 1 Remake? Never, baby. Oh. It's probably... What? They, they said it's coming out in May now? Oh my fucking stop pressing the fucking back! It's never coming out. <laughs> they, like, they, they uh, man, went, System oh, Shock is fucked. I think the funnier, yeah. I think the funnier yeah. bit was like, "Hey guys, look, we're putting out, a, we're putting out a, a closed beta test this month for Kickstarter backers," and it's like, you, you know, you said this game's coming out in March, right? And I'm like, good point. We're pushing it back again. How, how long does Keiichi Inafune have to get on that 3DS? Board of Mighty Number no. 9 again. Like, two days. You can just sick Huey anytime it sounds like he's gonna be near you at all. Bro? Oh, for fuck's sake, there was just an Azoth in there! Or, uh... Luminescent? Luminescent, yes. Come on, when are we gonna get to the fireworks factory? This is the right! <laughs> Oh yeah, my this god! Is, <laughs> this is pretty fireworksy right now. We're watching a girl get strangled to death. I'm talking about system shock, oh, Josh. I couldn't care less about a white woman running from her problems. Well, okay then. I did. I thought Whoa, you, you were Khan asking. Whoa, Khan does when not like again. Silent Hill Three. What the fuck? Hell. No, Silent Hill Three is fine. I hate the medium. Oh. You know what? That's that's better, yeah. Oh, you yeah, at least Heather actively tries to get away and solve her own problems. Fucking, fucking. Yeah, look at Fiona just telling a dog to solve all her problems for her. That's truly is... rude. <laughs> you see, they didn't want you like to see. I... They didn't want you to see what really happens at the end of this game. Uh, where a where, white woman is as white woman does with a dog. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> Justin! I love how Khan just, like, turned into, like, a mother for five seconds to lecture you. Well, I mean, yeah, Khan's the only white woman in this room, so I, I would understand oh. why she'd be upset. Hey. Or, orange, you, sh you bring you g bring shame and dishonor to the Yushiro Oh Nishimori. no! We're playing fucking Donkey Kong now! <laughs> okay. Donkey Kong, he's the leader of a bunch. Bro. You know him well. If he shoots ya, it's gonna hurt. He's faster, stronger, and a little bit incestuous. It's Fiona's dad, maybe. I don't know. It's a clone of Fiona's dad or the original? Let me pick up the fucking item! Oh. Funky. Fuck Bone. everything else. Bone just posted what? something now that too long didn't read. I just think you're having a major party pain. dismissed due to lack of evidence. Yeah, but what about yeah, those, so, yeah, but what about those DMs with him, with, with him and the teenage girl? Yeah, I still say he's a creep. Uh -huh. And an a-hole. Just yeah. because the charges got dropped doesn't mean he's actually redeemed to being an a-hole. He's still being as nasty as he wanna be, though. Uh -huh. This man's about to produce the, produce the worst fucking animated adult series of all time. Huh? I don't know, have you seen Brickleberry? Yeah, Brickleberry is really fucking horrid. True. I forget which one the... Though. Oh, Mr. Pickle is just absolute oh, trash. Mm -hmm. it, watching Mr. Pickle is about as fun as drilling a hole in your head. Remember, they chose Mr. Pickle over Hellbenders. Yeah, and they were wrong. Because look at Smiling Friends. Damn, you ever just been what? assaulted by fucking orbs? Why is this white woman letting herself get assaulted? Why is she fighting back? This is why I'm not back looking forward to Rick and Morty, and I'm completely I'm looking forward like, to season three. I'm gonna keep doing this. There we go. Medallion. <laughs> I 
I don't think your dog's following you. Oh no, it's fine. I'm just having him fight fight the dude. Congratulations, you've made it to the planet area. <laughs> the planet area. Oh, now just this astrolabe. Man, I love Final Fantasy XIV. Yo, I'm an astrologer oh, now. Yeah. Well, there you are, B. Hi, B. You gotta learn the tale of Red Thirteen. We missed the discussion about white women. <laughs> What discussion? Well, you see, there's white women and then there's white women. So true. Trademark. All life on the surface of the planet stretches out below the star's radiant light. All the events played out on the surface of the planet are colored by the star's never ending travels. The true miracle will only occur when the stars that guide universal destiny are linked as one. The planets have been arranged in the following order from the outside in Saturnus, <laughs> Jupiter, Mars, Soul Bad Guy, Venus, <laughs> Mercurius, and Luna. From, from from Virgil's Last War. <laughs> All planets revolve around the center of the universe, the great planet Terra. Hey, wait a minute! That's outdated information! <laughs> Begun These the Ptolemaic fucks. Begun the celestial chain from the farthest edge of the universe, Saturnus. <laughs> However, the path to enlightenment is not singular in nature. Proceed forward with alternative routes in mind. Oh, God. Does that mean Terra is in the center? Yeah. Yeah, it's Ptolemaic. Call that bitch Terra Nort. <laughs> This fucker ain't even heard of Copernicus. Mm -hmm. What the fuck am I supposed to do in the planet area? Uh, look for the one that's lit up. Oh, gotcha. It's lit, I see. Like slug. God, mm -hmm. God, my foot is itchy. Oh, okay. What? My foot's itchy. Oh, I see. I need to I need to get through these from like closest to farthest. Okay. And you're gonna need Huey with you. Good boy, Huey. Oh, I see. Point Huey towards the ones I can't actually get to. Go. So it's like, how, how, how it been, B? I haven't really gotten the chance to ask you that in a minute. Uh... Hmm. Go. That's a good question. <laughs> Any Shadowbringers progress? <laughs> A smidge, by the way, I ate shit till next time I happen to log in on uh, my account. Y'all need to come revive me. <laughs> okay. Oh, that damn it. I accidentally fell into a. I accidentally fell onto a sightseeing spot and I jumped off. Alright, Huey, just stay there. Huey! There's like, if you press in the left stick, oh, it's supposed to, to like, tell him to stay. They had to be like right next to him to do that, though. Also, I had some jerk chicken for dinner. It was really delicious. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. it, had, it came with rice that was really good. That, uh, kind of rice. Uh, I'm not sure, but it had beans in it. Go. What? Huh? All right, start over. How do you like your jerk chicken, B? Hmm. Did you have you ever had jerk chicken before, B? I have. I've had a. My dad's coworker made some for us. Oh, let me really turn good. it off. Real. Oh, sorry. I'm far from my mic. I shipped it back. Anyways, yeah, no, my uh. Dad's coworker made some for us. It was really good. Okay, so you want to keep him on that last disc, I think. Oh, no, there you go. No, that works. Wait, first of all, well, I guess you can have Jamaican restaurants anywhere. It's just Jamaican restaurant in King. Huh. Oh, things happening. Uh, hey, you did <gasps> it. You did it. Yay. Well, I've never had Jamaican before. Yippee. Yo, this reminds me of Skyrim. It does? Oh, yeah, that's right, because of the aura ray. That's right. And the thing that you get the Elder Scroll from, and then it takes fucking forever.
Yeah, the planets are finally aligned. Now I'm gonna go skin my infant son. I'll snap, it's a syzygy. What? Fucking Abraham, Jesus Christ. This is just like the Elder Scrolls. Is it? I remember a spiral staircase uh, when you complete the planet puzzle. Go ahead and save so you don't have to do that again. Cool, good point, honestly. Pardon me. In you. Sorry! I don't know, honestly, like, here's the thing, alright? I, I don't mind, like, tiny burps, but if you're just, like, fucking. If you're doing, like, if you're getting, like, loud. Belch. If you, yeah, if it's, like, a fucking, like, loud, guttural, disgusting one, then I'm gonna ask you to fucking mute your mic. But, like, you you did your best to fucking put a suppressor on that, and I'll give you props for it. I was I was facing away from the mic. I did exactly, not yeah. even want that on, on oh. the mic. Yeah, like, you're fine. Yeah, that would be my sister who could go ahead and make those huge, gut wrenching belches that sound like you're gonna vomit afterwards. Mm -hmm. uh Oh, goodness, yeah. That's not great. Oh, yeah. But thank you for telling us about them. Uh, so, Hi. look for three crumbling walls and kick them out. Walls? Walls. Yes, look for three spots in the walls that you can kick the shit out of. Also, like that B, one? What you, also, B, what do you mean by you got your ass, you got your H shit last time you logged uh, in? They're around the edge. Team. Oh, the edge, I see. Uh, B died, and we have to go revive them now. Oh, I'll come revive you. We'll be real I quick. Mean, I'm not, I am not logged in right now, but next you time logged I logged out while you were dead? Yes. But yeah, like, I don't know, you did- Wait, actually, wait, why didn't you just- It's not that much money. It was a matter of pride. <laughs> No, 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 Jeez, you got a point. I, mean, I guess the better question is, how's work going? Go, Huey. Mm. Okay. Uh, Yesterday was amateur out. hour. Oh, no. Clown shoes? Oh, no. Clown shoes, ass shit. I was... Oof. Mm. Ugh. All right. Were you Tomorrow. amateur hour, or was someone else acting that way? Bro, I don't think B would be upset if, it, if she was the amateur in this situation. Everybody, minus myself, of course, is having uh, amateur There's something hour. to put in this diorama. Uh, oh, one of those days. Also, I heard my brother, he was playing, he was doing, like, a marathon, he was marathoning <gasps> Destiny 2 raids. Oh, God. And, uh, I heard him uh, just describe... just put it kind of in the middle. I heard him describe an enemy as, this fellow is so foolish, but, you know, the non-white friendly version. Oh, okay. You need the wooden figurine. Oh. Then what the fuck do I do with? Yeah. The... Oh yeah, that's right. This one's useless. Where's the Where's the wood one? It's a good question, Mega Man. <laughs> which Which kind of freaked me out, but he told me he has like ten passes. Mm. Okay. Uh. So, if you look, uh, you're gonna have to head all the way back for where you ran into Invisible Ricardo the first time oh, on the God big spiral staircase. Oh, with the spiral staircase? Okay. Oh, you mean like all the way back down? Oh, God Yeah, damn. it's gonna be a ways down. Oh, also, God I had damn. a cheeseburger for lunch. It was really delicious. Nice. Nice. I just Tuna. A, just a well-made cheeseburger. I'm not sure if I want to get a sub tomorrow for lunch or Taco Bell. Burger. Do you want me to flip a coin? Mm, How do you guys? I'll, I'll make the choice of my own volition. How do you guys feel about salt and vinegar chips? They're nice. Uh, Not a fan of vinegar. I like. I like vinegar. They, they fuck up my stomach, but I can I can live with it. It's the vinegar and salt combo, I guess. This is going to sound like this is going to sound like sound like an odd opinion, but personally, I consider like recently I've considered ch chips to be like a last resort type meal. Wow. Wow. Someone must be living the good life out no, here. No, 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 I'm not saying that. No, I'm like, I'm saying it was like, if if I have the option to receive chips or something else, I'm likely to grab something else. Ah, uh, okay. I but take I, chips whatever I, I can. If I mangled a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos in front of you, you'd be like, nah. I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, it would definitely depend. Like, if I was hungry enough, I'd be like, yeah, sure, I'll take some Doritos. Now, now is that... Is that in deference to a dislike of chips, or is that in deference to just wanting to eat better? Uh, on one hand, yes, I would like to eat better. On the other hand, it's like, I guess the best way to describe it is I, I just have, like, a general indifference towards chips, yes. Oh, oh yeah, that's sensible, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, of course... Can you pull the lever 
to no, dude, uh, I have to fucking. Oh, you gotta uh, walk all. You gotta walk a little. You gotta keep walking it on back. Oh, good God. You gotta south side walk it out. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't remember. I don't remember how old this song is. I just know it's old. Gosh. I don't remember what there was to walk it out. For. Every so often, Noir, you just like bring me back into an era of my childhood. <laughs> because of that so Raven moment, but in reverse. <laughs> it's the future I can see. Oh yeah, B, did you see our, how I created us in FF14? Yes, yes I did. Do you like what I did for Kalani? Stylin? I did. That reminds He's me had this conversation. Oh, oh fuck. What okay. happened? I died. Oh, Damn. it's a good thing you saved after you completed that fan mm -hmm. You fell. Would you prefer the your drip or your or your starting drip? Yeah, actually, I've always wanted to ask this. Be or say this at least because it's like I don't know what the fuck your character's ever wearing. What's the drip? What are you wearing? Uh, it's usually the your drip. It depends on what we're doing. <laughs> Um. Oh, okay. Uh, what's uh, the current what's drip? That reminds me. Uh, we're going to have to catch you up a little bit on the things that happened and the stuff. I heard, wait. Oh, no. Forget. I heard y'all broke into Akihi... Akihito's oh, father's no, cousin's no. house. Whoa, that's a lot of family. Mm -hmm. Well, it's Actually, not like a cousin, cousin, but like yeah. It's just one guy in there. And then we beat the shit out of a bunch of people. Well, actually, Noir, Noir, uh, like, uh, goofing, uh, gaffled, haggled, uh, uh, some, some of the main guys and brutish guys while we, like, use that as a distraction to, like, ice them. Uh -huh. Wow. Did, these, guys, these guys D &D were ex ex yeah, I D &D. Ex excessively stupid, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. No, I did not really use a, fr a combination of a frog and a magical owl to murder five people. Well, you didn't You didn't murder them, you distracted them. Well, yeah, so you could murder them. Yes, so but that's an entirely different context. You're an accessory to murder. To be fair, they're going to kill us, and, and I'm pretty sure they're about to kill my character's uncle. They're all Yakuza people, it's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't worry, just, just play the Kiryu card and just never kill a soul. It's a bit unfortunate, actually, because, like, if you get, when you guys went into that secret room, if you could have, like, figured out the puzzle earlier and gotten down in there, you actually, you, you likely could have, um, what's the word I'm looking for? There was a fucking thing to turn on all of the autom- uh, the, 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 the clockwork mannequins and just have them kill everybody, other than the main guy. I, uh, but we already- Now I gotta figure out what that ring does. Oh boy, do you have to figure out what the ring of money making does? <gasps> Well, I have some. I have, have some inclination what it might do. It's the question of what it's going to cost you. Uh, uh, kick the shit out of those pipes. Oh, these ones. All right. Hey, speaking of D and D, I got a little uh, thingy that I rolled dice into. Oh, nice. Like a now, dice tower a... or a dice pad. It like... is a. There's another pipe around here. Somewhere it's not a around. tower, but it is like a pad. Is it a bowl? Can you a show bowl. us a picture of it? Is it larger than a bread box? <laughs> is it smaller than a duck? Is it the size of a bread bowl? Would you want to have a bowl, want to have cereal? I'm gonna kill you in five seconds, Orange. Mm -hmm. I saw mm -hmm. Vine, bro, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Do you remember where you ran into the barrels? Mm hmm. North of the barrels, there's a pipe. Oh, oh yes. yeah, this is the silver disc. It also doesn't do anything. They really just put Ooh. shit in here to they're, fuck they're, with you. They're just know? like, well, well, I think the idea was there's three things, but two of them don't do anything. You gotta figure it out. The, they really had this go. woman in, in nope, no shit. Nope, that's not it either. Really uh, okay, in... so it, it's a little farther this way. No shoes and kicking pipes. So, br so bring it on back a bit more to the front, wise. Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, it's like the next pipe. Oh yeah, check that pipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Fiona's stronger. Oh god, than not me. the bugs. Oh, you know what she reminds me? You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of that fucking um, 
What is it? It was like the, I'll steal it! No one will ever oh, know! No, no, no. The Dover boy. Like, yeah, the Dover boy. Unhand her, Dan, backslide. And like, that girl is like infinitely Unhand stronger Dan, than backslide. all of the boys put together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's like completely accidental. <laughs> mm hmm. Girl bosses before girl bosses were a thing. Mm -hmm. A runabout. No, steal it! No one will ever know! You gotta put the emphasis in there, or else it doesn't sound right. I, I can't do that without waking up my wife. Unfortunate. Uh, let me oh. see here. Uh, yeah, you love just, it just says a little good. north of the barrels, so I mean, head oh, back yeah, no, to where you're going. I got, I got the wooden miniature, oh. we're good. Oh, you love to see the consideration. Let's go bridge it up. Mm -hmm. Risk it. Brisk it up. All right. Oh, spring anime season has officially been announced. Fuck okay. yes. It's sprung. And... I'm still waiting for the dub of Nier Automata to happen. It's happening. I'm still waiting for it, though. It got, oh, you're still waiting for it to come out. Yes. Yeah, the cast was already announced. He's just well, waiting for it. Well, if you can't watch it now, then... I also regret to inform you that it is not a replace. From what I understand, it is not a replacement for the original game. So, B, we will have to persist at this some point or going. another. Okay. Oop. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, Shut. gotta get through near so you can do those, uh, get that anime and then get the fourteen raid. Or you can just watch, or you could watch it in release order the game, the near raid, and then the anime. That could work. <laughs> I mean, like, sure, why not? I, I mean, mean ulti like, like, ultimately, the Nier raid is, like, the only, like, really optional raid series. You don't have to do it. At least not immediately. They uh, are super I, fun, though. I, in the I, I don't have to do it, but I do want... You want the drift. I, I, want the fa I want the fit so bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you talking about just the 2B fit? Because there's multiple fits. <laughs> Mostly the 2B fit, but, like, there's some 9S stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, like, they, they have, like, uniquely designed... Uh, your oh. stuff or mm -hmm. oh yeah like my really? sage top is like a your thing i mean like what is oh. it i think you're only guaranteed like only not guaranteed quote unquote but like the only thing that you're like the only like outfit that you can like fully get for free is just the 2b outfit there's no 9s unfortunately oh boo well mm -hmm. there kind of is I mean, no, yeah, some you of can get yeah jason stuff but it's not just you, you don't just outright get his outfit unfortunately you can get his hair though like, honest to god, like, that's kind of a travesty. I wish I wish I could get the 9S fit. I love 9S's outfit. I'm kind of surprised they didn't. Mm -hmm. like, also, uh, I'm shocked there's that. no weapons either. I, I want to use Beast Lord. The, 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 the weapons is like the one I went, what the fuck? Not even the, vir not even the virtuous weapons, the, the virtuous block. series of weapons. That is like the most shocking. But I guess it makes sense because there's not really a lot of weapons in Raid series. I mean, yeah. I mean, you could have made them, like, token weapons that you trade in. I mean, in Alliance Raid, they don't do weapons, which is a bit unfortunate. I mean, they could have at least, like, done, like, uh, an optional, like, repeatable quest you could get tokens for, and then you trade those tokens in for weapons. Mm. I don't know, maybe the next, next, maybe the next time we get a Nier collaboration after the Final Fantasy 16 collaboration. Oh, uh, they're not gonna do another fucking Nier. What about the Final Fantasy 17 collaboration? Mm -hmm. they do, are they going to start looping it in? Instead of doing the near, they're going to do the. They should do the Drake and Guard uh, collab. When are they, they going to do Faro Telmeta? They should bring back the uh, 15 collab so I can get the car. Mm -hmm. And knock this is drip. Don't forget. Uh, yeah, is drip. I want it. By the way, here's, here's and the. Is, would Would you rather want Noctis' drip or his hairstyle? Eh. His his clothing. Eh. Would you rather want Nagito's well, drip can, or his personality? Josh, wants his personality 100%. Shut up. <laughs> you see, like this one right here, there's some 9S style clothing. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's not quite like exactly it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but you know what's fucking insane to me? The, the female VR starting gear is just Fran's outfit. Mm -hmm. For the culture. Mm -hmm. The bridge to freedom. Oh. Honestly, I'm glad that I got her hair out of the ponytail. Looks good. Why did you run? 
<laughs> what? What? Capcom, is this a fucking unbirth story? Capcom, I I thought I I you know I I I asked you if you put some incest in this video game that I'm playing, and you didn't reply back. But I guess that just answers the question. You put some incest in my video game. I was Joshi, that's not incest. That's unbirth. Yeah, right. No, Robu, Robu, literally. No, dude, Robu. What did you say, Joshi? Robu. My friend. Wait, are they related? That's her father. Okay, well, it's, a, it's incest well, it's a, and unbirth. It's a clone of her father. Also, Robert, unbirth is completely different. Oh god, he's doing combos on me. You know, today I started my day off of Twitter. Okay, um, send <laughs> bad idea. Send Huey into the hole in the side, and he'll like jump out and kick the shit out of uh, Ricardo uh, okay. at some point. If you're not I'll say die. use your antimonies to keep them off your ass. Cool, I'm dead though. Okay. Uh, Bro, I'm dead. And it started off with uh, someone telling someone that they'd put a baby in them. And universally, that is a threat. <laughs> uh huh. If you are not already like a thing, partners, whatever. That's just like that is a, a weird threat. thing to say off the I, cuff I to someone why, on the internet. I don't know why niggas say that off the cuff. It's not sexy. You are not going to mm -hmm. smash it. Ugh. Just gross. The vibes are horrendous. Terrible. What? Tragic, even. Zragic. The way I hear Justin clicking as if it's making him run any faster. Well, I'm not clicking. Oh, wait, then who the fuck? Oh, that's Robo, usually. Yeah, I'm using a controller. Oh, I'm not clicking. It, it might have been me because I've been. Who I've been, was clicking? It might have been me because I was noticing that, but I wasn't typing anything, though, actually. I, I was clicking right now, and it was my mic wasn't registering yet. You might be registering that. You hear this? Yeah, but that yes. was. Uh, yeah, that's it. It was. A lot more subtle, and I don't think anyone's mic was going off. That's why I thought I it was think just... I think you were hearing I think you were hearing Fiona's footsteps. Oh shit! Those are her fucking penguin ass feet. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is quite near this dating. bitch is flip flapping. Flip flappers. Yeah. Quality anime. It's I almost as bad as handshakers. Wait, what? Flip oh. flappers is sick as fuck. What the fuck are you talking about? No, that's about? the that's the thing I keep that's the thing I keep forgetting is flip flappers is the good one and handshakers is trash. Oh, yeah, handshakers is dog shit. I can't, What's that wrong with handshakers? Flip flappers. It's dumb. Uh, handshakers is excessively dumb. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the animation for handshakers? No, because I don't want to watch gross. it. Uh, Flip Flappers is insane. I highly recommend it. My favorite bit is in the opening where there's this just this dude like spinning in midair, shooting rockets. It's so funny. Oh, so the average TF2 soldier gameplay. Also, the opening and ending theme for Flip Flappers are superb. Uh, great, great, great story, especially if you like lesbians. Oh, it's this. Mm -hmm. I've seen oh, yeah. Talk about it. Oh, yeah. But you remember Little Son? That bit? Uh, yes. Uh, you stole it, did an even worse burn in 1.0. Wait, what? Yeah, look, this is this is what you stole said, in 1.0. I uh, wasn't expecting 1.0 discussion in my heart. I know. Sure. Oof. <laughs> Here, look at this, Joshy and B. I'll look at it later. You can look at it right now. You're, I'll look at it boy. later. Calm yourself, boy. You even doing? I'm kicking open these things so that I can preemptively, so that I'll be ready for the boss fight ahead, and I don't have to do them in mid fight. No. Uh, that's a good idea. It'd be ashamed if the game reset them. I was gonna say, is the game gonna reset them? All right. I'm the impression it didn't. It did. I think it did because we went all the way down and then back up again. Hmm. Yeah, and you got to figure out which one of these uh, holes you can shove Huey into. We'll let him come out at the tap. Hmm.
viral visual novel about doing taxes with anime girl immediately Wait, are, are you reading the news right now con yeah, yeah. please don't why not Sorry. cutscenes it's not like we're talking about much else oh my god so you just skip the cutscene i already saw this one it's just where he goes let me in your fucking womb oh my god and oh to be you fair, i just wouldn't want to repeat that. it then also, nothing wrong about wanting to know about the visual novel IRS Waifu Simulator. Apparently, yeah, that should got the list on Steam. I mean, yeah, understandably. I think it's a really bad idea to give to give a to give a random VN your credit card information. Yeah, Did it actually take your credit card information? No, no, but it actually asked number. Yeah. Oh no! Well, oh, I just worse. thought I thought it would teach you about how to do your taxes. That's all. No. Mm -hmm. And... It will actually file your taxes for you, ostensibly. No. I wanted to make a social security mm -hmm. number. Can't I wait it... for, uh, you know, that... like, years down the road when you see the infomercial on TV. Were you scammed by the V? The pink-haired anime girl who asked you. I yep, can't wait right. until America gets a proper national id card you know and we don't have to bullshit it with our social security numbers and driver's licenses you know the crazy thing is i i filed my taxes and then turned them in and then the second i was done i looked at my w-2 and it was like hey just scan this fucking qr code we'll just do that shit for you and i was okay. like well thanks that sure is fucking nice to notice afterwards I don't know. It just said like, yeah, no, like the company has like a an attachment with like TurboTax. Like it's nothing. There you go. Just do it. You can just scan it in. Also, I've been leveling Samurai more. Okay. It's nice. Congratulations. Hmm. The we Bushi, the the legend of the Bushido. We should probably stop now, cause yeah. Did you kill a legend no associated with Bushido? I thought it was just like. A code. Oh well, I mean, there's a lot of legend. Well, the, the legend is there is the beautiful things that they've done. The legend, the legend is that the, the code Frenchy was followed and existed. The 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 legend was that things were good and peaceful and happy at any point. Mm -hmm. You could say uh, legends were retold, like chivalry. You know, the they went. We need a some sort of social construct to present to prevent these assholes on horsebacks and heavy armor to just stop abusing their power. You know, you ever just consider, like, how different things would be if things, if, 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 culture, well, how different culture would be if things were just, like, nice and pleasant and nothing bad ever actually happened? No. It would be nice. Like, just, like, just samurais cease to exist. Any, like, form of, like, ancient warriors that people, like, cling to. Just gone. <laughs> Religion. I mean, I mean, like, the thing is, is that, like, I feel like it would have happened anyway, because you still need to hunt shit, like, for food. Hmm. So there needs to be some form of, like, hunting. I suppose. But you know what? That's that's a discussion for not uh, three minutes to midnight. It's... <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but you love to see it. You wouldn't uh... believe your eyes of 10 million fireflies. We oh my god. Uh, on... Why are you saying, oh my god, that's a good song? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just every, every white girl in my elementary school sang that fucking song. Elementary? It's a good song. Oh it's a good ass oh song. My, shit. Yeah, it is a nice song, but... <laughs> Orange begins oh. aging into dust. No, but like, I'm the what? same age as Ruby. How the fuck did that happen? What song? Fireflies. You would not believe it. Fireflies. Um... I'm looking it up. Or was 2009. It Oh no, it was middle school. Okay, well so then yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Not elementary. What did I make? Did I make you wither into dust <laughs> in a second? I no, mean... because that just didn't make sense. Yeah, the timeline of events was was incorrect. <laughs> I was gonna say either like you are not as old as you say you are, or something happened in the timeline. <laughs> the robot would reveal I... he's actually like a fetus. <laughs> Here, here's here's my favorite it's... version of that song, by the way. Mm. Uh, I would look at that. However, I am deathly afraid of being copyright struck. We are. Still you will on totally stream. get copyright struck. I'm sorry. That's very fair. Everyone else. All right. Uh, enough. Enough. Uh, fucking around. You'd think me rude, but I would just stand and stare. Mm -hmm. All right. I, I hope uh, that planet Earth revolves slowly around uh, the people watching tonight. Uh, you all have a good one. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.
Bye. 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 Bye.